YouTube, welcome back. Today we continue our series in JavaScript uh, tutorials or JavaScript fundamentals. In this series, we we'll try to answer questions that you may face in your uh, interviews that are related to JavaScript. If this sounds interesting for you, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And let's start into it. So today's uh, problem, we are talking about what are the differences between slice and splice. And in the last previous two videos, I made videos what are slice and what are splice. And today we just talk about what are the differences between them. And there are four um, sections that we want to wanna talk about. Um, in terms to so the differences will be quite clear. So first of all, I want to talk about the purpose of each one of them. Okay, in terms of the purpose. So first of all, the slice here, the array that slice returns a new array contained extract elements or the, the let's just say in the better way that the primary purpose of slice is to create a, a shallow copy of a portion of the original array without modifying the original uh, array itself and this is quite important to say because i guess this is of the partial portion of the original array I'm just trying to make a lot of enters so to make sure that we are in the same page everyone yeah so basically the array, the, the main purpose is that the primary purpose of the slice is to create a shallow copy of the of portion of a portion of the array of the original array without modifying the original array itself it allows you to extract a sub array and this is the one of the most important thing to say in your interview in the, your question the second thing i want to talk about which will be a read that price and the primary purpose of the array that uh, the splice is is let me just clear that is to modify the original array by adding removing or replacing elements at specific positions so let's just add this one so okay and i will add this one in the comment section in, in 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 the description in the video description so you can see it guys and the primary purpose is to modify no oh, i guess this one looks quite better yeah so right now we talk about the purpose and what are the differences in terms of the purpose. The second thing that we want to talk about the modification. Uh, first of all, the array dot slice does not do any modification. The array dot splice uh, it directly modifies the array based on the specified parameters that we give it. So it can remove, replace, and 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 insert elements and changes the original array itself. Um, we want to talk about the return values return value what each one of them return so basically um one array that splice return um it returns a new array containing the selected elements returns a new array containing the selected elements the second the array that splice it directly it does it directly just copilot was wrong here copilot with wrong here was wrong in this one first of all this one it directly It directly uh, modifies the original uh, the original array uh, based on the specific parameters. It can remove, replace, or insert elements at the change uh, and changes the original array accordingly. Um, um, the the return values in the splice it returns an array containing the removed elements, if any if no elements are being removed when adding elements it returns an empty uh, uh, array this is can be useful for capturing and handling the removed elements uh, we want to talk about all differences in terms of arguments 
or primitives arguments. So uh, the array that supplies one uh, array that slice accepts two optional arguments, the start and end. Ah. It accepts two optional parameters, start and end, called start and end. Um, let me put start right. Um, specify the start index for extraction and end specify the uh, end index of the uh, of the exclusive. Um, we have the splice. The splice accept more because the slice do more things. It accept it accept um, uh, multiple arguments. We have the start and we have the delete uh, count and we have the items. So uh, it takes multiple arguments. We have the start, delete account, and optional uh, uh, elements. Uh, and uh, start specify the index at which to start modification. Delete count specify how many elements to remove, and uh, additional arguments are uh, elements to be uh, added. Um, if we want to look about the examples, because it's important to talk about the examples, let's. Create const original array. And let's say that it's one, two, three, four, five. And I will create it with array that splice. So const sliced array. And it will equals, let's call array that slice uh, zero to, to, to four or one to four. Let's call it one to four. And in this one, if I, um, if I console the log, If I cancel the log, I will get basically I'm I'm starting at one, two, three, and I'm stop at four. So I'm saying t three elements. So if I cancel the log, I lead a splice. I will get this er uh, element, and I if I cancel the log uh, original array, I will still get one, two, three, four, five. And uh, that means that we do not. Oh, sorry, we do not modify the the original array at all. We create a sub array instead. Using splice is different. So let's create an original array two. And it will be the same, and I will just call like const remove the element. No, let's call it spliced array, and I will try to uh, sort from the index the f index one, and I will delete two elements. And um, let's see here if the console the log the sub array it will be I will got two and three because these are the removed elements. And the console dot log uh, original if we console dot log the original array. We have we have one, four, and five because we deleted two and three. So basically, it modifies the array. So in summary, the slice is mainly for creating a new arrays from existing ones, while splice is for directly modify arrays by adding, removing, or replacing elements with within them. The choice between the two depends on the specific tasks you want to uh, accomplish. So that's it for this video and I hope you like my content. If you see my content quite interesting, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you guys in future problems.